So what's more important? They uncomfortable, they mad with me, or I saved their life. They saved their life. Yeah, they might not like how it feel. I, don't, I can't care about that. Spe on top of that, the Lord said for me to do it. So who I'm going to fear? What he said told me to do it. What my brother, I don't know if want to hear that. I don't care if you don't want to hear it. Right. We do not care. Come on. Is that what I want? Turn ye in my reproof. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Start verse, 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 verse 20. Start verse 20. Yeah. Mm. Verse, Listen carefully. Verse, and pay attention. Remember, the point is to make this Bible apply to your life. We ain't talking about back in these days. We talking about right now. Kevin, what's your name, bro? We met Bubba you before. Yeah. I'm sorry? Bubba Chuck. Bubba Chuck? Uh -huh. So, Kevin and Bubba Chuck, we talking about right now. Right today. Right now. Come on. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Come on. Wisdom crieth without. It say wisdom crieth without. That means outside. Not in a building with AC or heat on. Outside. Wisdom crieth without, meaning outside. Come on. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom utters her voice in the streets. In the streets. Come on. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse meaning the best place to find all of our people there. The best place, the chief place of concourse. Concourse meaning travel. Mm -hmm. She utter, wisdom utters her voice in the street. The commandments of God are spoken in the streets. In the chief place of concourse, where all the people at. Watch this. In the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates. Come on. In the city, she uttered her words. In the city, she uttered her words. Come on. Say, how long, ye simple ones, uh -huh. will ye love simplicity? This is the Most High God. He says, how long, ye simple ones? Most High calling his kids dumb. Calling them stupid. How long will you love the stupidity that we do day to day, day in, day out? We born into stupidity and we live a whole life and then die having done nothing intelligent. Come on. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And not everybody like my brother Bubba Chuck and Kevin. Most, most people scorn. And they love to score. Ah, they, they, they nobody believe y'all. Y'all, why y'all got dresses on? What's that funny stuff on the scorners delight in their scorning? Delight in their scorning. Like a clown loves to do what? Like to make jokes. Exactly. Scorners delight in their scorning. Come on. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. That's the ones that they get mad when you correct them. Because not everybody, like my brother Kevin, my brother Bubba Chuck, like, yo, okay, yeah, look, what else we got to do? What's up? What's next? You know what I mean? Not everybody like that. Some people hate it. Some people hate it. That's why the Lord told us not to spare. Not to spare. Come on. Turn you at my reproof. Do what? Turn you at my reproof. It says, turn you at my reproof. This is the Most High God speaking. So, when the Most High God ever spoke to anybody? You know what I'm saying? So who's the who who is he speaking through? He's speaking through his prophets. Give, hold that. We're gonna come right back. Give me that in um uh Isaiah. You shall see your your, your eyes shall see your teachers. 30 and 20. Isaiah chapter 30 and 20. I'm gonna show you who he's talking through. I'm gonna show you. Watch this. Come on. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, the bread of adversity is slavery, captivity, That's all the things that we suffer, right? Though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, meaning he punishes you, come on, and the water of affliction, uh -huh. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Your teachers ain't going to be removed into a corner, meaning somewhere tucked away, somewhere where you can't find or see them. So now you just out here, and your people just out here doing whatever you want to do, not knowing what you're supposed to do according to God. That's why everybody got their own opinion about the Lord. But the Bible, if you want to, if you want, if I want to know about Kevin, who should I talk to? Talk to Kevin. So if I want to learn about the Lord, where should I go? The Lord's Word. But everybody got their difference in opinions. It's because the teachers have been hidden, and it, some of the teachers hide. Not everybody is out here teaching their people right. under the threat of death, under the threat of uh, uh, arrest, under the threat of everything. 
Not everybody. Some of your teachers are removed into corners. Not us. Not the Lord's real prophets. That's right. They will not be removed into corners. That's now let's right. hear the Lord say it. Come on. Be removed into a corner anymore. Verse 20. Then though the Lord give you the bread of adversity with all that you go through. The bread of adversity meaning all that you suffer. Come on. And the water of affliction. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Because guess what? We suffer the same things as you. We suffer the same thing as you. We have to do. This. We have to work to eat. We got to do the same thing as you. Right. So though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, they're talking about all of us. You and me. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.